Yo, what's up? This your boy Derek Branch here of Saint Discussions on Strike Seven Sports. Today I just want to talk about this uh, recent news concerning the Wall Saints and you know the latest on the Derek Carr sweepstakes and now that the latest is that Baker Mayfield could be considered an option for the Saints if um Derek Carr is not signed. So if you don't know by now, uh, Derek uh, Carr turned down the uh, trade package that would have sent, sent him to the Saints in return for the Raiders receiving some uh, draft compensation for um, Derek Carr. He turned it down and he was re released on yesterday, February 14th, which was uh, Valentine's Day. On Tuesday, he's released and now a free agent. So now that he's been released from uh, the Raiders, Carr can go out and sue other offers outside of the Saints. So some people have been um have you know mixed thoughts on it. Some people felt like the Saints should have um secured secured the uh the deal while he was still with the Raiders, so that way he doesn't test the market. And some others felt like it was the right move to, um, you know, don't you go you going to another team, so don't hurt them by being traded and they lose draft compensation for you. So the way I see it is this is the right move by the Saints. You know, let this guy don't give up compensation for him and take on that contract. Let him be released, and that way. You know, you keep your assets and you secure that you could um, make your own, set up your own deal with him. Well, anyways, the ladies that came down from Vicks uh, Albert Greer brought this up. And I got this uh, story from uh, Saints Wire. Uh, Shouts out to John Siegler. Is that Baker Mayfield is being another quarterback to watch for agency for the Saints, according to Albert Greer. So. I'm just going to read it real quick. The latest Noir Saint scuttlebutt comes from SI.com's Albert Breer, who knows that the Las Vegas Raiders quarterback Derek Carr, Derek Carr's two day tour of New Orleans went well, and that Carr's relationship with his old coach, Dennis Allen, may play a factor in his free agency decision once the Raiders release him from his contract ahead of their Wednesday deadline. But what if the Saints are priced out of Carr's sweepstakes? Breer suggests, Breer suggests Baker Mayfield as another free agent alternative should New Orleans miss out on if it miss out on its top option. Writing, quote, another quarterback to watch in free agency for New Orleans will be Baker Mayfield. The Saints staff was high on Baker on Mayfield ahead of the 2018 draft, and those old draft evals can definitely definitely have an impact down the road with guys as they get older and hit free agency especially when there's a need that can't be tied to it. So there's that. That's what Albert Breer said. That quote, the, the quote it, um, right up, right, writing right here about Baker Mayfield and the Saints had interest back in, it was high on him back in 2018 when he first came out. Uh, Mayfield was the uh, 2017, yeah, 2017 Heisman Trophy winner and he risen from Heisman winner to the first overall pick in the uh, 2018 NFL draft by the Cleveland Browns. Uh, you know, he went to the playoffs once, led the Browns to level wins in 2020. And other than that, man, it's just been a roller coaster with Baker Mayfield. You know, the Browns try to. Build a roster around him, a contending roster around him by Odell having Odell Beckham Jr., Jarvis Landry, uh, David and Joku, uh, Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb, uh, good offensive line, good players on defense, and it's never materialized into anything, you know. And the Browns finally moved on from him. Yes, last year when they went after Deshaun Watson. Mayfield got sent to Carolina. That didn't work out. He got benched for the um, yeah, Sam Turnell, the P.J. Walker. He got on with the Los Angeles Rams. And he had a little, you know, nice, you know, four games with them. Nothing, you know, 
a good game against the uh, Raiders. We let that comeback drive. Played a good game against the uh, Denver Broncos, but nothing, anything, nothing special, you know. And I'm here to say that if this is the next option, you might as well just keep Andy Dalton and James Winston. Baker Mayfield, man, I don't, I don't know, man. If you you've been a three, you've been a you you've been in the league five years, number one overall pick, and been cast aside for other quarterbacks. You've been on three teams in five years. I don't know if this is a good look. I'm gonna move for the Saints, man. Now, if Sean Payton was still here, I wouldn't have no issues with having signed a Baker Mayfield. But I got my doubts on this, man. You might as well keep the other Heisman Trophy quarterback you got, Jameis Winston. Even though, you know he's on the contract, you know, for another year for fifteen million, keep him. You know what I'm saying? Go with Taysom Hill. This would be the perfect time to start Taysom Hill. See what you actually have in him. With a give out, give Hill an opportunity to start with a full supporting cast. You know, but Baker Mayfield, man, come on, man. I mean, what about Jimmy Garoppolo? You know? I, I prefer, me personally, I would prefer Garoppolo over Derek Carr because his resume. He's a winner. He plays and he shows up in big games despite, you know, those mind-numbing mistakes that he makes sometimes. He's a winner. He has a, a better, re way better record than Derek Carr. You know? I think the, the offense is tailor-made for Jimmy Garoppolo, in my opinion. Over a guy like a Baker Mayfield. Or just keep Jameis Winston, man. Winston, shoot. At least you won games with, with Winston when he's healthy. You know what you're going to get with Baker Mayfield, man. You know, the, he tends, sometimes he tends to be a, a diva, you know, in that locker room. You know, I mean, I'm pretty sure we got the locker room to the leadership to deal with him, but it's all about his production on the field. You know, so it is what it is, man. I just think if the Saints miss out on car, they should just bring back Dalton, draft a worker QB, and just go through it. See what happens. You know what I'm saying? Because the good thing is that you're playing in a weak division and a weak conference, and it's wide open. It's going to be wide open once again with Tom Brady out and – it's really going to get flipped on the side if Aaron Rodgers goes to the AFC. So you might have some success with a rookie QB or Andy Dalton if you cut down on the mistakes from last year. Because the Saints, the reality of it is that the Saints are not really that bad. They're not that far off. They just got to clean up some things. They had some issues they had on the field last season and get healthy at a certain a lot of positions. So... Baker Mayfield would be a sign of desperation, you know, because they got some better. I think shoot, Heineke is a better option to take some than uh, Baker Mayfield. Taylor Heineke. You know, Daniel Jones, I, I like Daniel Jones, but they're not letting him go nowhere. The Giants not letting him walk. You know, ba I think James is better than uh, Baker Mayfield, man. But we'll see everything plays out, man. You never know how. You know, the Saints, you know, is a reclamation prior, reclamation home for a lot of core quarterbacks. We've seen it happen with Daniel Jones. Well, not Daniel Jones, but uh, Teddy Bridgewater. Um, Jameis Winston was doing pretty well until he got injured. Um, Drew Brees, you know, came from the Chargers. So, you know, but then make it for Mayfield is 27. He's just 27. He's still young. So he shouldn't cause that much, you know. So, but uh, compared to Carr, so that would be great. That would, that would help out as well. You know, if he comes here and he blows up like a Drew Brees, and you might have a, you might have you start you started for the next ten to fifteen years, ten to twelve years. But to me, it's a long shot because you've been on three different teams in five years, number one overall pick, not really living up to the hype. You only been to the playoffs once. Couldn't really get it. Couldn't really get it down the weapons that that, that 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 Cleveland gave you. So I got my doubts, but we'll see how everything plays out these next couple of days. You know, with the Derek Carr sweepstakes. 
All right, that's all I have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. How you feel about the Saints being interested in uh, Baker Mayfield if Derek Carr does not get signed? And also, what other options would you consider if um, outside of Baker Mayfield if it comes down to it? That's all I have for y'all for right now. Have a blessed morning, a blessed day. Be safe out there. Peace. I'm out. Who that?